humanoid robots are no longer the stuff of movies. They are closer than ever to becoming one. They are part of our daily lives and the proof of that is the Kawasaki. Kaleido um coetzeiro. But how far can this technology go? Will these robots take jobs that are currently exclusively ours as human beings? And how are they being trained to act autonomous? What Kawasaki has just presented could be a significant break, a warning sign for the future. In today's video, we're going to explore the new features of this robot and understand whether we're heading towards a rev very problem. I know, I know asking for likes and subscriptions is annoying, but if I don't ask, you won't do it. And since I don't want to have to hire a robot to knock, knocking on your door reminding you of this, better make sure now subscribe and leave a like or Kaleido. You might end up thinking that you are a problem to be solved. Did you subscribe? Did you hit the like button? So let's go. Imagine a robot capable of working side by side with humans, adapting to every movement without losing balance. It seems like something out of the movie, I robot, but it's real. The Kawasaki Kaleido 8.0 was developed to bring a new level of automation and human interaction. The robot's version showcases impressive advances. One of them was demonstrated with the human and the Kaleido moving a table together, meaning they were working together. It seemed simple. But this task requires an absurd level of precision. To start, you already know. Comment down below if you trust robots working side by side with humans or if you think that could go very wrong. Would you feel safe sharing space with a machine that can make decisions on its own? Five seconds there. Comment respond? Did you? Did you respond? Let's go. When the human pushes or pulls the table, the force sensors in the robot's feet, they instantly capture changes in the center of gravity. In a matter of seconds, it adjusts the pressure in its ankles to maintain balance and stay in sync with the purse. This capability makes the robot much more efficient at assisting with tasks that require coordination and collaboration. VAC also improved part of the hardware by incorporating full force sensors, elbow joints on the Kaleido. These sensors work similarly to the ankle sensors, allowing the robot to perceive external and adapt its response decision. With this improvement, the robot has become more responsive and safe to operate alongside humans. But what stands out the most in this new version is the redesigned head. The previous structure is gone and a spherical monitor was added that can display images, videos, AA, texts and yo even facial expressions. This change transforms the Kaleido into a much more expressive and interactive robot, capable of conveying emotions or giving instructions clearly. The balance capability has also been improved. The robot can now correct its posture in real time and recover from almost any fall. What about those people? Have you seen those tests where guys push and kick the robot? I would never do that, right? If they ever go against humans, decide that way, they'll remember that I say good morning to robot. Comment below what you think. This is a big step forward for dynamic environments like for factories and workplaces where stability is essential. And the improvements don't stop there. Kawasaki is developing a teleoperation system that allows humans to control the Kaleido remote using motion capture device. It can be used in dangerous environments without putting lives at risk. In addition, the company is creating a hybrid model where routine tasks are automated, but the more complex ones still require human supervision. Another interesting aspect of this project is that Kalido is helping to train artificial intelligence. Kawasaki is collecting data from the robot in operation to improve its algorithms and in the future, allow it to perform tasks all by itself. This puts Kaleido on a promising path to becoming an increasingly autonomous robotic. What day are we going to have this robot in our homes, tidying up, vacuuming, cleaning the bathroom, making our... F if money weren't an issue, would you have one? Comment below. Additionally, Kawasaki is investing in new sensors and algorithms that allow Kaleido to better understand its surroundings. This means it will be able to identify objects, recognize patterns, and make faster and more accurate decisions in complex situation. With this, the robot becomes more versatile for industrial and service applications. And also at home, right? Because each, every apartment, every house, it has its personal customizable aspects, right? Every home has a different size. There are different pieces of furniture, people walking around. There's that toy of your child's on the floor and a dog passing by. So they need to have this up uh, analysis of the environment around them. These sensors are very important. 
Another important point is that the company is also exploring new applications for Kaleido, such as supporting healthcare professionals and assisting in rescue operations. The robot's ability to interact with humans and adapt to different scenarios opens up a wide range of possible future. In addition to the advancements with Kaleido, Kawasaki is also working on a new robot model called Vega. This robot was designed to perform a wide variety of tasks with a modular design that allows for adaptation to different sectors. With high precision arms and an omnidirectional base, it can operate in tight spaces without losing efficiency. Will there ever be a robot that comes into my office one day? And it will make all these videos bah, that I do here for you and monetize them for me and then I'll go to the beach? In the meantime, it's not a reality. I. I have my mentoring program on monetization where I teach my mentees to build up to 10 sources of income online using artificial intelligence. To speed up the process, uh, I'll leave the link in the video description and pinned in the first comment. Let's continue. Vega stands out for its height adjustment capability, reaching up to 2.2 meters, which makes it easier to access elevated areas. In addition, it can be folded for more efficient transport. Its long lasting battery allows for over 10 hours of continuous operation, and it can reach up to 30 hours under certain usage conditions. However, this technology is still far from reaching the general public. The price of Kaleido still exceeds $150,000 and its commercial launch doesn't have a set timeline yet. Even so, the progress of this technology is impressive and it shows that we are getting closer to a future where robots and humans will work side by side in a natural and efficient way until they replace us, right? This video doesn't end now. It continues with us chatting in the comments. If you find this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. Share and subscribe to the channel.